Now on News for Jacks at 5.30, we could see a COVID-19 vaccine made available as early as next month. But until it's widely distributed, public health officials stress Americans should remain vigilant. Hope is on the horizon here, but we need to bear with it a bit longer. And so this is the time to really hunker down. We now have a better idea as to who will be the first to get a COVID-19 vaccine once it's approved. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced today that Florida is ready to administer the first doses to 4,000 long-term facilities across the state. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us live. Lauren, how does the governor plan to do that? So it's through Operation Warp Speed, and what that is is that the deal was made with CVS and Walgreens that they would help administer those doses once the vaccine is available. And now DeSantis said, the governor DeSantis, I should say, did speak with the top pharmacists at both companies, and they say once a vaccine is available, they are ready to distribute. It has been a long time coming. December 10th is the date that the FDA will meet regarding the Pfizer vaccine. and We anticipate the FDA to review Moderna's vaccine shortly thereafter. Early data suggests both vaccines have an effective rate of over 94%. In a pre-recorded video, Governor DeSantis said the main priority is to focus on those most vulnerable. Particularly our vulnerable seniors in long-term care facilities. Here's how he says he wants to do that. Out of the 4,000 long-term facilities in the state, 3,000 have already signed up to be a part of Operation Warp Speed. He also says 500,000 rapid tests have been put aside for long-term care facilities to be dispersed over the next few weeks. And while the governor did not give a timeline, he did say more treatment options for COVID-19 is on the way. Generon will be administered by IV and should be taken shortly after receiving a positive test. This treatment will be in addition to the supply of Balman Eli Lilly's antibody treatment that arrived at hospitals last week. Both treatments are meant to keep people from being hospitalized. Well, this is all good news. You have to remember that the vaccine, there's only going to be 40 million available for widespread. Well, I should say it's going to be a while before there's a vaccine available for widespread use because that first dose, it's going to be 40 million doses is what they're expecting to have by the end of December. But even though it's 40 million doses, you have to remember the shot, the vaccine is a two series. So really it's 40 million doses, but only 20 million people can get them. And again, as you heard from Governor DeSantis, he says those will first go to first responders and long-term care facilities. I'm Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.